Hey folks, Cornell with YouTube Fishing Vids. Well, if you've been keeping up with my videos, you know the past two videos I've been up in the mountains of Maryland just destroying the smallmouth and all kinds of other species up on this beautiful mountain lake. And here I am again. It's day three, guys. Day three, early morning. Yes, I'm wearing a t-shirt now in the second week of November. Another gorgeous day. This is why I planned it. I got a few days off uh, and I decided to come up here and just camp out and make a threefer out of this trip. And it's been absolutely incredible. So we're going to get back at it. We're not going to talk very long because I want to get right at these rocky banks, these steep banks and throw that jerk bait, that Alabama rig, a drop shot if needed, because it's been 30 to 50 fish days out here. I've got basically SD cards are getting filled every day with all kinds of content. So I hope you've enjoyed the last two videos. This is just number three. So if you like to watch people catching fish, hopefully it's going to be another one of those kind of days. Stay tuned. So each night that I've been up here, it's been pretty cool. The days have been amazing. Anywhere from 70 to 74 degrees during the warmest part of the day. But the nights get down into the low 40s. Uh, two nights go even to the high 30s. So the water temps were as high as 62 degrees yesterday uh, with the warm up. But again, the cool down happened. So we got 55.6 degrees right now. Yesterday it was about 56 degrees when I started off. So that cool down means the fish are a little less active during the morning hours, but boy, that afternoon bite just turns on like crazy. So basically just a limited amount of catching probably early on for it just to fire up and get wild and crazy like it did the past two days, I'm sure. All right, I've had a couple taps. I had a couple followers and right behind me is where I actually saw a really, really nice smallie come up and try to eat it. He was probably about a two and a half, three pounder. So I'm just gonna spin around and just cover the water behind me with this here jerk bait, just to make sure I don't miss a fish that might be willing to bite something like this. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of jack all re-range again. This has been the bait. Uh, a lot of fish have been caught with the Mega Bass Vision 110 as well, but this particular bait has been just absolutely destroying them. So that's what I've got in here. So let's see if this jack all does it again. Yeah, that fish that was chasing this Alabama rig was a nice one. That would have been a nice fish to start the day. Probably about the same size as the one that started my day yesterday, which happened to eat a Mega Bass Vision 110 plus one in the LG bone, but this color is exactly the same, a little more shallow. And that fish was actually shallow when it came up to grab that Alabama rig, so. All right, he didn't come after this side. Let's go over here and do it again. Oh, look at that, guys, unbelievable. Second cast with the jerk bait, and I'm locked on. There, I don't know if it makes any sense to fish anything else all day. Second cast with the jerk bait after about 15 minutes of fishing with the Alabama rig and only getting a couple taps and seeing the fish chased, I got this nice, nice smallmouth that looks like to start the day, a really nice one. I got the net behind me. I don't know if it needs it yet, but he's tugging. He's a, he's a nice fish. Let's see what's going on. And yeah, he's a good one, but again, feels a little bigger when they're in the side. That's, I don't know how many times I fished when the first fish of the day ends up getting them like that, but just a beautiful morning smallmouth here in the mountains of Maryland, starting it off right off the top. Back he goes. Figured he'd hit right by the only piece of cover anywhere. I mean, there's cover all over down there in the form of rocks and boulders and all kinds of stuff like that, but that one lonely stump sitting right there is about where he hit guys i'm on again back to back casts only the third cast with the unbelievable the jackal is insane this bait is ridiculous and he's beautiful and he's a decent dark bringing in the fall leaves with him <laughs> that's something two back to back cast guys what do you think am i going to destroy him again today or what and yep i got the pliers out just talking about that one piece of cover right there and there he is, back to back. There he is, another one, another one. Just circled back right over here by my favorite. This is now my favorite stump, especially because I got the biggest bass of the day near it. That's a nice one, guys. That is a real, real nice one. I hope he stays on. There's that stump again. Just circled back, I had to, and he's he's got this one good. I don't think I'm gonna need a net for him, although it would be smart because that's a good one. Look at the size of that beauty, guys. Is that just, oh God, I love it been so great and I am sore I am pretty sore after all these days I did some stretches this morning took a couple of ibuprofen and uh yeah I'm back at it again 
There is a good bite. Wow, that's a good one, guys. I hope that's I hope that's in the mouth. Because if it's in the mouth, that's a good fish. Holy crap, that's a good one. That's a I don't know what number it is, five, maybe, four, five, six. But regardless, if it's not in the side, it's tugging. It is swimming. I wonder, and it hasn't come up yet. I'm looking for that big walleye. Like I said, they're in here. Nope, it's just another nice smallmouth. Man, he's pulling hard. Yeah, he's in the side a little bit. There he goes. So that's the deal. Those sharp hooks. Guys, uh, I had a subscriber ask me if I'm just using stock hooks on these re-range. He felt they looked a little stout. They are pretty stout. They're not like those uh, Aaron Martin's really awesome uh, finesse trebles that he's got out there with that nano coating, the real, real lightweight hooks. These are pretty stout. But I'm telling you right now, these hooks right here, are ultra sharp they're ultra slick they got that nickel coating on them not as skinny and thin as uh, some of those finesse kind of troubles out there but you see what it's doing and this is a medium light action rod so basically it's pegging them and my hookup ratio and my catch percentage is way way up there i've lost very very few fish and the one i've lost i probably could have caught if i had a net going but i'm catching so many fish a lost fish here and there is not going to hurt my feelings a teeny any bit in that 10 to 15 minute span that I was throwing that Alabama rig. I wonder how many fish I could have probably caught on that stretch of bank. It's amazing how you could just do a quick change up and just everything changes, guys. I mean, that's why you have a few things on the boat. It's fun to mix it up and try different things. Go ahead and uh, do what you gotta do, but here we go again, another one, guys. As I'm sitting there telling you that the jerk bait is just king. It's king here, it's king today. It was king the past two days and in the fall, it's hard to beat and it could be pretty much one of the best things you could be thrown all conditions are different everything could be different depending on where you are but in my situation that bad boy is king there we go pulling back you see my stump in the background guys i'm just going forward and going back i'm just covering this whole area and it's another nice one another beautiful fish come here Non-stop. Let's get him on the side of the pretty sun. There we go. Pull him back. Pull him back. Did you hear the fishing line sing? Another one, guys. Another one. Oh, it's a nice one, too. It's a real nice one. Come here. Do I dare? Yep, I dare. There it is in the boat. Them stout hooks. Getting it done. Gorgeous. And I mentioned it a couple times in the past couple videos that this is the fall drawdown, folks. This reservoir, another one, guys, another one back to back. I was just about to say that the fall drawdown has these banks exposed. I mean, I can't tell you how many feet this lake's down, but it's down quite a bit as I pull in a back to back beautiful bronze back look at the size of that one another stat all these fish are quality every single one of them are beautiful beautiful fish that one's right in the nose where's my pliers at gotta keep track of these pliers every time but yeah the fall drawdown really puts these fish tight up on these banks with these water temperatures just barely under 60 degrees for now guaranteed going up it's not that hard to find them especially with a jerk bait Every time I cast into a little pocket, just a little, little pocket like that, where that little point sticks out and there's a couple more rocks farther out than others, it seems like that's where one always happens. So, and what I say, and what I say, here it is and it did happen. Just like I pointed out, it's just every time, guys. I mean, every time I get fresh water and every time I get something like that, it's just inevitable. It's another beauty, nothing, Nothing huge, guys, nothing huge, but just non-stop awesome. This time, in the belly action. <laughs> Shall we try that theory again? In the pocket, tiny little outcropping, little stump on it too. Let's see if number two's sitting there. Oh my gosh, and number two was sitting there. Oh my Lord, have mercy. Please, please tell me you're not hooked in the belly. Please tell me you're not hooked in the belly. Because if you, it doesn't matter. Even if you're hooked in the belly, you're big. Whatever you are, you are big. <laughs> this is a big feeling fish. 
What do I have here? Oh my Lord. You want to talk about multiple species, guys? You want to talk about crazy multiple species? How in the world does that happen? Do you guys see what ate my bait? I got a big old bullhead catfish. That's got to be what it is. And I got to be real careful not to lose my re-range on this. That is insane. Truly, truly, absolutely insane. I can't believe what I'm looking at. This thing is fat. And if he doesn't jump too much when I go to get under his gill, I'm going to have myself a big old catfish to show you guys. Hang tight. I think I got him. I got him two. I got two fingers underneath. Look at this thing, guys. Unreal. Oh my God. I can't believe what I'm dealing with at this place. This place is insane. You got to rearrange back. This is the last thing I want to take my bait. He got all of these hooks too. Hang on. Got it guys. Got my bait back. Look at the size of this. Hold on. Let me hold you. Get gently. Don't, don't get crazy on me. Don't get crazy. I know how to handle a catfish. Hold on. All right, I got my re-range back out of this crazy catfish. Guys, a catfish eating a jerk bait. This place is insane. Well, that was one fun surprise catch. I didn't expect my back-to-back. -back. Look at this, guys. Look at this. I got another one on here where I'm sitting there trying to tell you about how awesome it was to have a back-to-back -back cast with a big old catfish. I retied. I basically got all that worn-out slimy line off of it. Threw back in there, got number three in a row. Unreal, this bait is insane, and I've been saying it nonstop for the past three days. This truly is probably one of the most fish catching species, numbers, anything and everything bait that I've ever thrown. And funny thing is, I got a backup version of this, a backup version, a backup one of this exact same color. I haven't even used it yet. This bait right here has been through it, and it's got teeth marks all over it. I'm probably gonna, I'm thinking about doing a thumbnail with a brand new one and this one to show a before and after effect of how much this bait has been to it and through it. It's been killing it. So that's, uh, that's an incredible piece of equipment right there. Mm, another one. <laughs> okay. It wasn't too much, uh, too much longer after that last one, guys. Oh, it's a nice one. Let me get off these rocks. This is where I've lost a lot of fish, guys. I've actually been blowing into the rocks. And haven't been able to hold up and keep up with my fish. I think he's got every bit of it, though. Yeah, he's not going anywhere. He's definitely not going. He's got it straight in the meat of his nose. He's a, one of the bigger ones of the morning. Look at that one, guys. How's the sun? Looking good? <laughs> Let's do my best to get these out without hurting them. There we go. Got them free. Beautiful fish. Oh my gosh, what a bite, guys. I made it over here to a very steep flip wall. Took drag out of the line. Second and third cast in my new spot, guys. Never fished it before. That was my plan. I think it's a walleye, guys. It looks long. It doesn't look, no, it's a small mouth. It looked, it's, it's a big one. It's got it in the chin. For a second there, I thought I had something a little different, but it's a nice fish. Just started out, and even with this calm wind, I got my, see how long it is? You can kind of see why I thought that could have been a walleye, but absolutely beautiful fish. Still eating the jerkbait, even in the calm winds. I knew they would. It's just that last spot died off big time, but they're still biting it. So let's get back in the water and go get some more. All right, folks, I am on the bank that has the channel virtually touching it. So this is where the channel swing is. I've done very, very well here in the past. It leads all the way around to that really steep bluff wall and I've killed it over there. So this is spot number three. Number one was incredible. Number two produced at least one fish in that calm, calm wind situation. I still have calm winds, but I'm on a really, really good bank right here. So this jerkbait should still produce. Let's just see how well. There we go. That didn't take long, guys. That didn't take long at all. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Swimming at me. Nice fish. Wow. Oh, there's one behind them, too. I think I made a good move coming over here. That's a chunky, chunky channel swing bass right there, guys. Beautiful fish. Yep. And he had a buddy with him. Let's go get him. There he is. It's another one, guys. It's tricky sometimes when you get them on slack. You wonder if you're ever going to put one in them. But I think I got one in them. I think he got it under the chin, too. Little guy. All right, guys, this is a very finessey little pocket. I'm not going to throw that jerk bait in there and just spook a bunch of fish that I know. I know I could probably catch with a drop shot. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to break this little drop shot out. I'm going to throw right into this little pocket. I got a little natural spring coming into it. There's a very, very good chance I'm going to pop a couple with this drop shot here. So let's throw this in there real quiet. 
Let's see what happens. <laughs> Guys, I was messing around. Actually, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I was picking the dirt out of my fingernails. There's so much going on. I've been digging into all these fish scales and whatnot, and I pick it up, and I've got myself a really nice smallmouth on the drop shot that I was expecting to catch one in right here. It's a really good one. It's one of the better ones of the day. Look at this fish. This is beautiful. Just lift it up, and there he was. That's how you do it, guys. Just let that thing dead stick down there and let these beauties come up after it. Nice stuff. Come here. Gosh, that's a nice fish. He's hooked so well, too. He's going to do a little dance. Actually, he was going to grab my net, but realized I didn't have it quite ready. But that's okay, because he's coming in with me. <laughs> there he is. Isn't that beautiful? Let's get some of that light on him. Perfectly hooked. There he is. First drop shot fish of the day. Long and lean. Okay, I made it to the shade of this beautiful bluff wall, guys. You know what? I'm happy I got that drop shot fish, but I'll tell you one thing. I've caught enough fish on a drop shot to last me a lifetime or more. So let's put up the drop shot. Let's continue on path with that jerk bait because that bite is just too darn fun. So, all right, let's get the re-range back in my hand. Let's parallel this bluff wall. Maybe, maybe even throw that Alabama rig, but you see how calm it is. It is slick calm. The one advantage I've got is just the tiny, tiny bit of off-colored water and the shade. So hopefully that'll lead to some more bites. Been looking forward to fishing this bluff wall for the past two days, and I figured one more day left, I might as well hit it because all the other spots have been killing it and producing, but I know this bluff wall's got some fish on it. It's just a matter of time to see how well it does and how much it produces. I see topwater activity around here. I see some little popping fish on the surface, probably trout. I caught a big old rainbow trout up against this bank on a recent trip, but I'm seeing all kinds of stuff. Bait fish probably, and again, we're right on the channel swing, so it doesn't surprise me that there'd be some, there'd be some fish here, bait fish, trout, anything and everything that swims is gonna be right around on the edges of these channels, so let's get it on. There he is. <laughs> Two casts in, guys. Right on the bluff wall. Too cool. Skinny little guy. What do we got here? Yep, just a little one. But that's just a sign of things to come, I hope. Yep, there they go again. They are popping on the surface. I'm almost 100% their trout, guys. You know what? I got a little cast master spoon on me. I might, uh, I might toss to a couple of these little guys or just drag that slow moving little silver spoon across the top and see if one of these trout wants to come and eat because that thing will get them and uh, nothing wrong with a couple trout for the pan. Let's see what happens after a couple more casts with this jerk bait. I might just throw that cast master into this melee of trout on the surface. Got another bite right there. Unbelievable. All right, here's the deal. Next decent swirl I see from what I believe are trout is going to get this cast master in their face. I got this little eighth ounce silver chrome cast master ready to launch here. So let me keep my eyes open. I'm going to try and see if these surface popping fish are what I think they are. If they're trout, there's some pretty nice trout in here. So there's a swirl right there. Let's, let's just give it a shot right off the bat and see what happens. I'll just drop it down. Just do a slow retrieve. See if they're interested. Oh my God, and he got it right away, guys. First cast with the cast master. Can you believe it? Unbelievable, it's a beautiful trout. First cast, I knew that's what they were. Too much, too much, too much. Look at this beautiful rainbow. Dude, this has been the trip of all trips. These three days have been incredible. So there it is, guys, a beautiful rainbow trout. I'm gonna net them because a rainbow trout on the stringer is a big deal. Look at this thing. Look at this trout, guys. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous, beautiful rainbow trout on the cast master. On the very first cast, I even thought to throw it on. Can you believe that? Look at that, guys. Isn't that amazing? Rainbow trout in the shade of the bluff wall, right at the channel swing. Saw him popping, cast master in his face, going on the stringer. All right, I'm gonna have that cast master locked and loaded. It doesn't look like they are popping as much as they were a second ago, so I'm gonna keep on path to these smallies and anything else that wants to hug this bluff wall. But then I'm gonna go back and throw to those trout if I see them start to pop again. All right, guys, I just saw my little swirl. I'm gonna put down the jerk bait. It's still in the water. Oh, there's another one right there. All right, guys, got a little bit of surfacing activity here with these trout. So let me just launch this in there, just like I did last time, and see what happens. Oh, my 
my God, that's, that's incredible, guys. I just got whacked again. They're in here, guys. They're in here. That's, I can't believe I didn't hook them, but I can because there's tiny little trebles on this thing. But that's just ridiculous. That was the second cast I, I've made. I mean, I got hooked up again, literally looking at the swirl and just got smacked on reel. Slow, slow, steady retrieve, a couple twitches, and he just launched into it. Here's another one right in front of me. Let's see if I can get another one to eat. Here's another one right here. And generally, they sit still for just a couple seconds after they surface. So here's one right here. All right, here we go. Let's see if this works out. A couple twitches, steady retrieve, twitch, twitch. Retrieve, twitch, twitch. Come on, eat it, eat it. <laughs> oh, he just bit it, unreal. Little, oh, he got it that time. <laughs> this is too cool, guys. This is too cool, rainbow trout all day. Oh my Lord, have mercy, too much. Look at this thing, look at this thing go. I am in heaven right now, absolute heaven. Let's see if we can get him on the stringer. That's uh, four casts with three bites on these little rainbow. That's, that's a little smaller, but I can't say little. You know, I'm, I'm used to fishing some of these put and take streams and they got some itty bitty ones in here, but these are healthy. These are nice little trout. All right, let me get him unhooked, put him on the stringer. It's amazing, the bluff wall has not been producing the smallmouth like I thought it'd be, but man, those trout are picking up the, uh, picking up the slack. I had a bass boat cruise across the uh, spot here, so those trout are probably gonna be down for a little while. He came right across them, so they'll be back and they're not going anywhere. So as soon as I see some more action on top, I'll be throwing to him with that little cast master and hopefully, hopefully filling a limit of trout. Walleye guys, right there, walleye. Can you see, nope, it's a trout, it's a trout guys. Look at this trout. Can you see this trout? Look at my jerk bait, unreal. Unreal. I don't know if you saw it guys, but there's a mangy, you got a mangy looking rainbow trout. Just I thought it was a I thought it was a walleye for a second, but it's actually a trout looking at my jerk bait. Too funny. There he is. Finally got one guys. Oh he feels like a nice one. Let's see what he got. Finally got another smallie guys. It's a little bit to get him, but I got him. It's not been as busy as I thought it'd be. But Another one in the boat, decent fish. Oh man, fish number two, didn't even feel him. He's on there guys, only two casts later. Little guy, okay, so might be getting to a little stretch of fish here. I'll take a little one all day long when it's a little bit slow. All right guys, this bluff wall has not produced the way I would have hoped it would have produced. Uh, my theory is that it's been beat up the past couple days. Now the past couple days, I have not been down this way specifically because I saw people coming down this way and any channel swing bank is gonna get beat up quite a bit if anybody knows what they're doing when it comes to fishing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do something fun. I got the cast master in my hand. I'm gonna throw this behind the boat and I'm just gonna slow troll it. I'm gonna slow troll it through all these trout that I've been seeing and uh, see if I can pick one up this way. But when I get back to the spot where I really saw them doing their thing, I'm gonna just sight cast for them. I'm gonna sight cast for those trout and see if I can catch myself a limit of trout, get them on the stringer, and then continue on path to do some more smallmouth fishing against some banks that may not have had as much attention as this one. All right, guys, got one tiny little tap on the troll, but I'm surrounded by some trout right here. I'm actually seeing them come up again. So I'm gonna keep my eyes open. I'm gonna see if I can get one to Show itself like right there, there he is. Okay, here we go. So it passed him just a little ways. Let it sink a couple of seconds. Retrieve, twitch, twitch, retrieve, twitch, twitch, retrieve. Come on, eat it. There he is, got him again. <laughs> Number three, guys. <laughs> Number three, I mean, that is as easy as that with these trout. This is the most fun. These fight so well too. I'm just throwing this on a, another drop shot special. It's my other drop shot rod I brought. And I got six pound test on. Look at that jump. Is that not insane? Dude, <laughs> these trout are definitely giving these smallmouth a run for the money. This is a good one too. My goodness. I have got, I have got the darn, oh my gosh, they fight so hard. Come here. Come here, dude. You're not going anywhere. That's a sharp set of little trebles right there. Come here, beautiful thing. Unreal. Oh no, come on. Get in that net. <laughs> Dude, I am just so lit up happy. This has been the best trip ever. Too cool. All right, let me get this thing off the hooks. He's a good sized trout too. Let me get him off the hooks and get him on the stringer. These trout are ferocious. I mean, I'm telling you right now, look at this guys. Tell me that's not a heck of a stringer of fish to take home to the dinner plate. Killer. All right, let's go out and get another one because these small mouth are chilling right now. And even if they weren't, I might just continue to have some fun with these trout until I get my limit. That's a pretty stringer right there, wouldn't you say, guys? Beautiful, beautiful fish. 
and this is as good as it gets. This is like stalking. This is like hunting for fish right now. All I got to do is look for these darn things to come up and show themselves, cast to them, and bang. Too much fun. Let's see how this all works out. Here's the setup, guys. Just nothing but a 10-pound test braid, Stratic CI4. This is a 3000 series. This is, I'm sorry, this is actually 8-pound test right here. This is on my 3000 series. So that's 8-pound test Power Pro, 6-pound test Leader, an 8th ounce, just an 8th ounce Castmaster. Have you ever seen me throw that before? That thing catches everything, guys. You should always have one tied on, especially this time of year and especially in lakes like this where there's trout. So let's see, let's see how many more show themselves. I'm pretty confident if it keeps going like this, I'm gonna have a limit of trout on that stringer. I could blind cast right now, I really could. I could just cast around and probably pop one, but it just makes no sense. It's just keep your eyes open because you can be casting in one spot and then see one pop and they're only up for a couple seconds and sometimes that's all it takes to get them. And if you miss them, you miss them. So I'm gonna wait till I see one actually surface and then throw. Uh-oh guys. We get the leaves off this jerk bait. Let me gently pick up this trout slayer and let's see if I can get it as far out as I just saw that fish. Might be a reach, but let's see if I can get there. Yep, I got there. All right, let's see what happens. He went under. Oh, he got it though. <laughs> he got it though. <laughs> there have been very, very few uh, that I've seen that I haven't been able to catch. This is number four, guys. This is number four if I get him in the boat. I've hooked up a couple more times, but I've got a pretty good hookup ratio. This is, it felt like a pretty stout fish. He's swimming at me. I'm waiting for him to lunge and jump and do his thing. Yeah, he's a good one. Wow, that's a nice trout, guys. These are not, look at that. Unbelievable. Little mini salmon right here. Too cool. Let me get this thing settled and get my net ready to roll and get number four trout in the boat too cool come here in the net you go that's a big trout guys look at the size of that thing oh my gosh it came out unreal that's too much man too much too much awesomeness okay there he is look at that let's just keep you in the net that's a great big trout guys look at that beauty all right let's get the stringer going all right in you go down the stringer and in the water look at that guys is that ridiculous that's a lot of weight those are some really healthy trout all right let's go back and get another one. Oh, there you go all right guys real small little swirl right here there he is right there that's about where he was it didn't really come up very hard but I just saw barely oh swirl and got that fish on <laughs> unbelievable look at that guys too much all you need to see is the tiniest little swirl in a lake of calm and that's all it takes to get oh and he gets off isn't that cool though that's all it took it's just like that man i'm gonna lose a couple there's no doubt tiny itty bitty little hooks but that was my five fish limit right there if he came in the boat and that's not taking much to get him so i'll, I'll fight him like that all day long with a quick release just a little more fun before i get back to the smallmouth fishing all right guys this might be number five right here right at my feet come on eat it eat it come on one more for the stringer i'll go back to smallmouth fishing come on there he is i get him i got him he's a little one but if he's in the boat that's number five unreal guys it was a little spell i actually took a bite to eat and i'm gonna hoist him in that's all she wrote guys that's five that's five trout on the stringer ridiculous absolutely insane he can't even stay in that net. Give me a second, I'll get him on the stringer. We'll get back to doing some smallmouth fishing because I got a limit of trout. All right, guys, what do you think of that stringer? Absolutely beautiful thing. That's some good eats right there. That was kind of a surprise deal. I know there's lots of fish in this lake to catch, but I didn't think I'd be ending up with a big old stringer of trout like that. So let me tie her up and let's get on out of here and do some more smallmouth fishing. All right, guys, look like the dam is the spot where the next fish is going to be caught. Folks, I've been running and gunning all over this lake since that last trout to no avail. It's been a tough bite. I don't know what's been going on up lake, but I had to get back down here where the magic was happening, and it's happening again already. That was the second cast up against the dam, and we're right back at it with some of these beautiful smallies. All right, the dam produced one fish, just one little small mouse. So I'm doing a circle here, fishing the next point on the opposite side of the dam, and I just landed a really nice largemouth. Embarrassingly enough, I did not have the camera turned on when I got here. I just got so excited to throw the first cast. Landed a nice one, probably about a two and a half pounder, but largemouth, guys, that was uh, nothing I could show you. I could just at least tell you about it. So that's 
another one right there, guys. Back-to-back -back cast. Now, this is another largemouth. <laughs> That's going to kind of prove my case. And let's see what I got. Oh, my gosh. I think it's a walleye. I think it's my keeper walleye, guys. I just had a largemouth on. Back-to-back, -back, and then I get a walleye? Are you kidding me? This is definitely a keeper walleye, too. Holy crap. I can't believe this is happening. What a day of multi-species. Had to bring the net out. Look at this. Look at this walleye, guys. Are you kidding me? Another walleye. I've got literally five trout on the stringer. Just landed a largemouth I wasn't able to show you. Threw back out there telling you how silly I was not to actually have my camera rolling. And I just catch that walleye. They got to be 15 inches. He's definitely 15 inches. Going on the stringer. Hang tight. Man, I was, I was kind of disappointed when I uh, lost that largemouth. And then I get to throw right back in there in a back-to-back -back cast, end up with that beautiful walleye. Let's go ahead and put him on the stringer. That one's going home with the trout. <laughs> Guys, would you look at this stringer? Seriously, this is ridiculous. I mean, what are the chances of coming out here and doing that kind of damage? Is that sick or what? Hell of a stringer. I already have in the cooler because I've been here, here for three days in the cooler. Got a big old yellow perch and another 22-inch giant walleye on ice. So, yeah, they're doing fine in that cooler, and these will be joining them very shortly there we go fish on guys what we got here finally get a smallie oh a nice smallie too look at that so we went from largemouth to smallmouth <laughs> i'm sorry largemouth to walleye to smallmouth isn't that something i'm so glad they're still biting i'm so glad i made this move over here because i knew these fish would be here and all i need to do is get a set of pliers and get on to the next one you know with that sun setting behind those trees with as incredible a three days as I've had out here in the mountains of Maryland, just destroying these fall bass and every other species that just decided wanted to bite and show themselves. I think I'm going to make this next fish my sign out fish. I got a long drive home. I got some sleep to catch up on. I got some work to catch up on. And this is going to be it, guys. Let's make this fish. Oh, man, let's not make that fish the sign out fish because it was little and it got off. The next fish I land will be my sign out fish. It's been that great a three days of fishing. And let's end it on a high note by landing one of these beautiful fish, regardless of what it is. And then we'll call it a night. Guys, I think I got him. I think I got my sign out fish. I sure did. Let's see if he's in the side. He feels funny. He feels funny like some of those in the side fish, but regardless of what this is, it's going to be my sign out fish. It's got to be that way, guys. It's, it's tugging though. It's got a funny pull to it, guys. It really does. I don't know what's going on. Is it a big fish or is it just in the side again? It's in the side. That's what it is. It's a nice fish though. It's a nice fish in the side swimming funny and in the boat he comes. There it is, guys. Sign out fish. The last fish of three absolutely unbelievably incredible days of fall bass fishing again up here in the mountains of maryland so folks as always i appreciate you joining me as always i appreciate you subscribing until we meet again over and out